So Chicago Ideas Week is a time for some of the biggest names in tech, fashion, and fitness to share their stories of success. And our next guest is in town to join one of their panels. And boy, does she have some good stories to share. Sarah Rob O'Hagan has been called a powerhouse and one of the most creative people in business. She's worked with Nike, Virgin Atlantic. She's credited with leading the turnaround at Gatorade's $5 billion business and helped reinvent the fitness company Equinox. Now she serves as the CEO of the cycling company Flywheel Sports, and she draws on all of her knowledge and experiences in her new book, Extreme You. Sarah joins us now. Good morning. We have so much to talk about. I know. Where do we start? <laughs> is it possible to be extreme before a cup of coffee in the morning? Yeah, that's a great question. Like, coffee <laughs> is needed, like, immediately upon it really getting is. up. Absolutely. <laughs> so you are dropping some major knowledge yeah. in the book, and I want to yeah. start with the title, Extreme You. Is it... Um, how do you become an extremer? Yeah. So the whole notion really is like a lot of us have focused the whole time on like becoming successful right. instead of saying, how do I become the best version of me? And if you just start there and say, that means I'm going to have to learn a ton. I'm going to have to fail a ton. I'm going to figure out what I love, what I hate, where I'm amazing, where I suck. <laughs> Put it all together to figure out where you can be your best and then friggin' crush it, right? And one of the things I told you I love about this book is that you are real. You don't sugarcoat the failures. You talk yeah. about them. Yeah. Um, I love that you, you came up with the idea for the book um, when you were giving a talk at Harvard, yes, right? Yes, yes. So basically what happened was after the turnaround of Gatorade and people would like write very nice media stories about all these things going right. And I would feel super uncomfortable because I'd be like, where's the bit about she got fired twice in her 20s? <laughs> you know, it's like the embarrassing part. And that's what led me to realize that for young people today, I feel like we're just putting like leaders on such pedestals and mm -hmm. saying everything's amazing. And we're not actually saying to get to be the best version of you, you've got to fail. You've got to like, things will go wrong along the way and that's okay. Yeah, and you tell a great story about one of the things that went wrong after you got a big promotion. <laughs> yeah, it involved partying pretty hard, oversleeping. Yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. You overslept for a huge meeting, right? Yeah, exactly. Like I was meant to like literally be there for the first big meeting after my new promotion, and I missed it by about four hours. Yeah. But it's cool because <laughs> you know we all take missteps, and yes. it's like you can really you show that you can really bounce back. Yeah, absolutely. And that's really the whole like lesson of the book. I interviewed 25 extraordinarily successful people, like from all walks of life, and what you saw from everyone is that a they didn't know what they were going to be at 20. Mm -hmm. A lot of them at 30. Secondly, they had tons of mistakes which they bounced back from, and which made them be incredibly successful in the end. And I'm going to botch this, but you say that everybody needs to find what makes their hair blow in the wind. Is yeah, that the right term? Yeah, their hair blow back. Yeah. So how do we find what makes our hair yeah. blow back? So first of all, it is not in a college-like textbook. You know, yeah. you've got to actually get out there and do stuff. And I feel really strongly, and I learned this from interviewing these people, it's like being willing to try new experiences. Like when someone asks you to take on a role that you didn't think you'd like, try it. See what happens. And stick with it for a little while. And all of those experiences together will help you understand where you're at your best. Okay, success or failure, what do you learn more from? Oh, I think failure for sure. Really? For sure, yeah. For sure, because I think failure is where the growth actually starts to happen. You know, when you've, I've certainly in my experience been humiliated enough times that, <laughs> you know, it's that self-reflection that slows you down and go, okay, I'm not going to make that mistake again. I don't want to feel that again, you know? Yeah. And so um, you really helped Equinox step it up because yeah. um, in part of technology and now you're doing the same with flywheel yes you're using technology yes. to to make flywheel step yes. it up and i actually love flywheel yay we love that major yeah. i love that it's competitive you yes. see your, your score yes. on the screen yeah so flywheel is indoor cycling and we were the first company ever to put technology on the bike so that when the instructor's telling you to turn up your resistance, you kind of have to, not just right. pretend, you know. And yes, there's a board at the front so you can see if you're riding faster than the others or not. And people who are competitive, I'm guessing <laughs> there might be you, Taipei personalities, they totally. love it because it's really helping you push your own performance. And yes. it's a lot of fun. And you can make a fake name if you don't yes, want people to know yes, exactly who yes, you are. So it's true. good for that's both true. types of personalities, yeah, right? For sure, for okay, sure. Okay, awesome. Well, Flywheel has two locations in the Chicago area, the Gold Coast and Old Town. So you got to check out flywheelsports.com for more information and you have to have to have to check out Sarah's book Extreme You along with her website extremeyou.com